We talk about great things that are really happening in our community, and especially for the kids for summertime. So we want to check in with Des Moines Performing Arts. They're kind of halfway through their virtual classes and summer camps that are going on right now. So very excited to have Carolyn Myers joining us, DMPA's education manager, to kind of talk about the success. Now that the summer camps have had to go to a virtual platform with everything going on, how are things going so far? You know, Jackie, we are so pleased and I have to be honest, we are having so much fun. I think when we first started talking about the idea of taking camps virtual, we thought this is something we can do, but until you're really in it, you just hope that you meet the expectations you've set and we've been blown away by the response and kids creativity and we're just having a really wonderful time and kids are too. A, a lot of times when you think about theater camps, you're thinking about the camaraderie of having people with you and what you're able to truly create on a stage or other spaces. So how has this been successful and been such a wonderful thing for people to be a part of when you have to do it through a virtual platform? You know, we've been really thoughtful when we put together the arc of each experience, making sure that there's still time for kids to get to know each other and to socialize, as well as making sure that we are engaging through a screen that kids are up, active, moving, and that they're creating. And the amount of pride that we've seen in our first few weeks when kids get to show off their final creations, whether that's a video they created or a tiny play or a scene, um, it's been really, really powerful. And I think especially during this time where kids have been at home, they're so eager to connect and they're eager to have something positive to do. And we've just been so, so impressed with their creativity and so proud of them. Well, so you're three weeks in uh, with still more opportunities, and that's why we're here this morning to talk about some last minute opportunities to get in on the virtual summer classes and camps. But what is, what's been happening so far over the past three weeks? So we have had um, some very skill specific classes. We've been doing musical theater dance class each week with a Broadway choreographer. Uh, we've had a week with a Broadway artist who's really been coaching high school students on their acting skills. Um, but our longer camp experiences have been for younger kids. We've had um, our first couple of weeks of musical theater camp online where each week we take a cast of 20 young actors. They all audition or guaranteed a role. And by the end of the week, they put together a musical that's done online where each student's given their own scene that then we edit together to create that final performance. And they've just been having a wonderful time. Wow, still able to have an entire performance even done in a virtual matter, which still just blows my mind how that all works. But let's go back to the fact that you've been working with award-winning uh, choreographers and uh, performers and amazing people that you're able to connect with virtually, but you and also at one time in person, because you guys have these amazing opportunities and open doors with Broadway because of the great work that you do on a regular basis. Yeah, we're always really um, happy to kind of take that unique role we have in the community with our Broadway series and the connections we have with the national Broadway industry to bring students face to face with um, Broadway actors and creative members who can really help them hone their skills. And this time where we've been connecting virtually has, has been no different other than the fact that they're joining us on Zoom from the, the comfort of their apartments or their homes in New York or wherever they're staying there during this time. Um, so that hasn't slowed us at all, even if the formats had to shift. Absolutely. Okay, so maybe there's some parents or even some students out there that have been kind of holding back. They've been waiting to see if this was going to be successful when you talk about a whole new platform when it comes to creativity. They now are hearing some wonderful success stories. So is there still an opportunity for them to get involved with the virtual summer camp? There are. So this week we have our last sessions of musical theater camp online. So if you get on and get connected with us right away, we can still get your kid in. Um, for elementary students, we've been having a lot of fun with our program we call Theater in a Box, where we send you all the kits that you need to create your own little puppet show that week, and some really creative, wonderful two to three minute performances that we've been seeing from elementary students. Um, so lots of fun there that we can still get you in on if you act on it today for that last for that last public session at least. And then the ones that we have a little bit more lead time on, but that are quickly coming our way are two weeks that we have in July. One week is for high school students, and one week is for middle school students where it's where we really go deep with um, a whole slate of Broadway actors and professionals and they get to work on their singing, dancing, and acting skills in all, uh, all one week through a series of master classes that they do each day. Okay, so if you still wanna get in on the virtual summer classes and camps, literally you need to get in on it today uh, to make sure you're part of this amazing opportunity. And just remind us, who is this perfect for if people wanna get involved? 
Um, so the, the ones for our elementary students I talked about that really are kind of this week is our last chance can really be any kid that just has an interest in being creative. They don't have to have any previous experience at all, just a willingness to jump in and have fun with us. Uh, but we'll take them wherever they are on that journey. In the weeks in July with our Broadway faculty, we just want kids to have a little bit of experience either in singing, dancing, or acting just so that they're comfortable jumping in and we will meet them wherever they are. But if you've got a kid who's got the musical theater bug, especially those weeks in July are going to be not to be missed. All right, well, I love hearing the successes that are coming out of this new creative platform with the virtual camps and classes. If people want more details, because we're reminding you once again this morning, you need to get in on it today. And we're hearing some amazing things that are coming out of this. Where's the best place to go for this? Or if they're looking for more of those Broadway camps in July, where do they need to go for those details? So all of the information is on our website, which is dmpa.org for Des Moines Performing Arts. And if you're interested in getting in on a camp today, send us a quick email at education at dmpa.org so we can connect with you just to make sure that we see that registration come through so we can get you all the login information. Absolutely. And as being the education manager for Des Moines Performing Arts, Carolyn, what is your favorite part of what you've been seeing over the past three weeks? You know, I think we've really tried to design our camps so that kids can do them as independently as possible. We know parents have a lot of um, demands on their time. They're either working from home or trying to still make everything go. Um, so we've been greatly satisfied to see that being success stories where kids have been able to navigate it on their own. But it's also been really fun because kids are doing this at home to see families get in on the action. So we've had a number of kids that have recruited siblings or their pets or even their parents to show up in some of their scenes. Um, and then seeing we might give them a small assignment to do before the next time we come back and seeing the kids who really blow it out of the water and take it 10 times further than we thought they would just because they're having so much fun and they want to go deep. So those have been really fun surprises of the kids who really wanted to take it really to the next level. I love it. Using your surroundings and showing that you can truly create a stage anywhere. All courtesy of Des Moines Performing Arts. Thank you so much. So great to see you this morning. Thank you, Jackie.